Used car prices have been going down for months on months on months. In this video, Dad, let's talk about what's causing used car prices to crash and what that means for you. Should you buy a used car today, tomorrow? Is it going to continue? What's going on with your trade-in? But let's start there first, Dad. Used car prices have been falling from their historic highs. I just used the word crash. Does that sit okay with you? Has it been a crash or reset? What do you think? <sighs> crash is a little strong. Um, you know, used car prices are 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 going down. Uh, they're reverting back to uh, lower price points where where they belong. They're still not as low as they should be, but it is a step in the right direction. Um, it might not even fall into the reset category, but it certainly falls into prices are definitely dropping category. All right, we like charts, we like data. Here is a chart that comes from Cox Automotive. The data has been charted for us, Dad. You can see the average transaction price at the wholesale auctions, because that's typically what happens to used cars. They don't make it to dealers. They go to the wholesale auctions, then dealers buy it from the wholesale auctions. The average transaction price for a vehicle at the wholesale auctions had gotten close to $24,000, okay? It had gotten that high back during the end of 2021 and into the beginning of 2022. And ever since then, prices have typically come down. There yes. was a bit of a spike at the beginning of January 2023, but prices have been coming down. The average transaction price now just fell below $18,000 at the wholesale auction. So crash may be too strong, but it is definitely a reset. Yes, but, but part of the reason for that is the average age of a vehicle in this country keeps going up. So it means that that there are more and more older, high mileage vehicles making it to the auction these days. So those prices have to come down on the 12, 13, 14, 18 year old cars that have 220,000 miles on them. So yes, wholesale prices are coming down. The quality of the vehicles that are offered at the auctions is probably lower than it has been in history. All right. So yeah, let's dig into a little bit of what factors are driving prices down. One would be age of the vehicles that are being sold as used vehicles. Two would be quality of vehicles being yes. sold as used vehicles. We know that the only segment or source of used vehicle inventory that is actually higher today than it was before the pandemic would be repo vehicles. Take that for what it's worth. Typically, quality of repoed vehicles is going to be a little bit more suspect and questionable than non-repossessed vehicles. And then, Dad, another factor that's driving down used car prices would be new car prices. New car prices have started to come down a little bit, and there's yes. an oversupply of new vehicles. Not all. Go watch our other videos that talk about new vehicle inventory. But those three factors, am I missing Am I missing a fourth? Maybe the fourth would be less consumer demand because interest rates are so high. The average interest rate on a used car auto loan right now is almost 15%. So like maybe those are the four factors driving used car prices down. And you have to believe as new car inventories for some brands, not across all brands, but for some brands get bloated, well, then that is going to impact what they can ask for pre-owned cars on their lot. Uh, you can't price the pre-owned car um, too close to the price of the brand new vehicle because, well, most people would go, I'd rather spend a couple thousand dollars more and get a brand new car with no miles and a full warranty. So, you know, the price, the price points on some new cars are coming down, which puts downward pressure on the asking prices for uh, some of the pre-owned cars out there. But, but, and this is a big but. We love big butts. <laughs> Don't we? Don't we all? Um, the big but here is that uh, three years ago, uh, the amount of leasing had gone down dramatically. So the percentage or the amount of lease returns that will be coming due at dealerships for the next 18 to 24 months will be significantly below what they have been in the past. Now, Quite recently, people have been buying their lease cars out because they've had equity. Today, they might not. But where there might have been 750,000 lease returns coming due over the next quarter, there might only be 400,000 or 350,000. And that's a significant drop in two to three-year-old low mileage used cars coming back. So those vehicles will probably maintain a premium value. 
So you led me where I wanted to go, Dad, which was how much further down will prices go? And it sounds like some of the factors you're thinking about that will influence used car pricing will be the mix of used vehicles that are for sale. So as nicer used cars do come back into the market over the next year or two, that could keep used car prices more elevated. But, But I guess even more broadly, like how much further down do you see used car prices going? Or do you think that maybe they're kind of going to stagnate where they are. Personally, I believe they're going to stagnate. If if we see any type of drop at all, it might be, I don't know, 3 to 5%. But your younger, lower mileage used cars, which are going to be in short, continue to be in short supply, those are going to command a premium both on the wholesale and retail levels. So if if you're willing to entertain older vehicles, then you might see some continued downward pressure on the price of those older vehicles. Two to three-year-old low mileage younger vehicles, you will still probably have to pay a premium for those. All right. And then let's answer the question that is probably in a lot of viewers' heads right now. Should I wait or should I do it now? So if we go with your idea that prices are going to kind of stagnate a little bit, then it doesn't really matter if you buy a car, a used car today, or tomorrow, maybe actually a bigger factor in that is the value of your trade-in, which as used car prices go down, the trade-in value of your vehicle also goes down. We have plenty of guides. Go do the quick Google search, Car Edge trade-in tactics for success, and that'll pop right up. But yeah, Dad, how do you think about that? Should you be buying the used car today, or should you be waiting and holding out hope? Maybe interest rates plays a little role in this. Maybe interest rates will come down. But what do you hopefully, think? Hopefully, the Fed will be reducing interest rates to a certain degree. Uh, in the uh, in maybe September and the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, so that could impact your payment ever so slightly. But my advice would be, if you can find a used car today that is affordable and marries both um, um, desirability and reliability, and it, and it, when you get a pre-purchase inspection done, it comes back healthy. I would buy it today rather than wait. It, there's there is no reason to hope that you'll be able to find a comparable vehicle down the road. That's not to say that you can't or you won't, but you're better off with the devil you know today than hoping that you'll find the devil in the future. Car Edge Concierge, the revolutionary way to buy your next car. You tell us what you want, and our team of experienced concierges goes to work on your behalf. They source the vehicle, negotiate the price, and make arrangements to have it delivered to you directly. Never set foot in a car dealership again. CarEdge.com slash concierge to learn more about how you have the power to save both your time and money. Let the car buying revolution begin at CarEdge.